Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Today I have a fun process video to share with you using the Everyday Collection from Pebbles and Jen Hadfield. And I just wanted to show you these papers that we'll be working with. I'm actually using two sheets of the Sunny Blossoms pattern paper. And as you can see, I've cut, fussy cut, several of the flowers from from one of the pieces of pattern paper. They're right here. I'll be using those later. But then I've also wanted to use this great navy blue and white striped background. I've also pre-cut these two pieces of pattern paper. They're also from the Everyday Collection. Um, and as you can see, I have pre-stitched along the edges. So I'm going to take these two pieces of pattern paper and just layer them. I just want them centered and then we'll mount this stack of two papers on my background paper. So now that we've got that, then I'm just using one photo today. This is the photo that I will be using. It's of my two boys last, last Easter. And I want to build, I want to make sure this, this layout is gonna have a lot of these cut out, these fussy cut flowers that are pretty bold. And I wanna make sure that my photo stays the focus of this layout. So I'm building some layers under my photo with pattern papers from the collection. And I'm going to put in between these back two layers, this doily. This doily is actually from crepe paper. Okay, now that I've got my layers how I want, I'm just going to carefully put a little bit of adhesive under each layer. I'm just holding the center there with my fingers to make sure that it stays. And then I'll just do the same quickly on this side. Okay, now I'm ready to add add my photo. But before I, I add that, I was going to show you, I have made a pocket just with two pieces of white cardstock, just putting adhesive on three sides, then putting them, them together. I'm going to slip a tag in there for my journaling. And I want my photo to go about over here, but I'm not quite ready to to adhere my photo yet. I am ready to, to just put my journaling in between those layers in that pocket that I created. And I've just pre-typed my journaling using a vintage typewriter and I just put it on a white tag. I'm just going to slide it in like that. And then I've got my title block ready to go as well. I used some gold foam thickers from the Spring Collection by Pebbles. And here at the bottom of the tag, I, the, the title of this layout is Easter minus one. And I just used my typewriter and typed minus one here at the bottom of the tag. And I'm going to slip that kind of in between those layers. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of adhesive right there and just kind of put that tag in between. And I'm just watching over here so that it's a little, it's out a little bit further than my, than my journaling tag. There's one more thing that I wanted to add to this, the title. And that is just a little pop of of color. I'm just going to adhere that to my tag and since I haven't attached this yet just trim off the excess right there so that that line follows the shape of my tag. So here are the flowers that I have fussy cut and what I want them to do is to kind of make a curve shape around my photo and title. So I'm just going to start arranging these. And I know that I want this piece to come 
right over here. So I'm just going to start there and just start arranging these floral or these these flowers. So I'm just going to start adhering now that I've kind of got my basic shape of how I want the flowers to go. I'm going to adhere them using just um, dot runner as well as dimensional adhesive. Okay, so I've got my flowers all stuck down. As you can see, I used foam adhesive on some of them and just regular, just my regular dot runner on some of them just to add a little bit of texture. So now I'm ready to add add my photo and title block and I want to tuck it in so it's kind of looks like it's nestled in in the flowers. I want some of them to be on top and some of them to be in the layers. So I'm going to tuck them in that way and I'm just using the pattern in this gray triangle pattern paper to line things up. I wanted to do one more thing to add just a little bit more sparkle to it. I've got this gold right there and that's the only gold that I've got anywhere on the layout. So I wanted to use just a little bit of color shine. And then I'm just going to carefully tap some gold ink around the cluster of flowers. So thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and by doing so then you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. I have some fun things coming up this summer that I know you won't want to miss. So make sure and hit that red subscribe button and also if you like this video give give it the thumbs up so that both YouTube and I know what kind of videos you like to see in your subscription feed. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.